In the vast expanse of existence, a profound truth often goes unnoticed. What we perceive as problems are illusions woven by our mind's attachment to a limited perspective. To truly understand this, one must journey beyond the confines of individual identity, stepping into the awareness of the eternal self. This realization, that there are no problems, only the flow of consciousness, is a transformative insight rooted in ancient wisdom and echoed by spiritual teachings across time. Life, as it unfolds, appears filled with challenges, obstacles, and struggles. Yet, what if these so-called problems were never real in the first place? The human experience, governed by desires and expectations, constructs a reality where misalignment with our wishes is labeled as a problem. However, when viewed from a higher plane of awareness, everything is as it should be. The universe operates in harmony, guided by forces beyond comprehension, and our role is to observe and embrace this flow, rather than resist it. The essence of this understanding lies in the realization of our true nature. At the core, each individual is not merely a body or a mind, but a fragment of the universal consciousness. This awareness, free from form, time, and space, is pure and untainted by the trials of worldly life. Problems arise when we identify too closely with the transient aspects of existence, the body, the mind, and the ego. By detaching from these, we begin to see the world as it truly is, a reflection of the infinite. To detach from the body and mind does not mean neglecting them, but rather recognizing their impermanence. The body serves as a vessel, a means of interaction with the physical world, while the mind is a tool for processing experiences. Caring for the body through nourishment and exercise and calming the mind through meditation and reflection are essential practices. However, true liberation comes when one stops identifying with these facets and understands their role as parts of a greater whole. A question often arises, do those who have attained self-realization still dream or experience visions? The answer lies in their unique awareness. Self-realized individuals may experience dreams or visions, but they do so without attachment. For them, these states are simply facets of existence, no more real or significant than waking life. They observe without becoming entangled, maintaining a serene detachment that allows them to navigate all states of consciousness, waking, dreaming, or visionary, with equal equanimity. This detachment is cultivated through the understanding of four fundamental principles of self-realization. The first principle is the recognition that all experiences, the universe, people, and even one's thoughts are projections of the mind. This awareness must arise naturally, becoming an intrinsic part of one's being. As one reflects on their daily thoughts and worries, they may begin to see how attachments and false identifications create unnecessary burdens. By stepping back and observing life as an interplay of forms and energy, one begins to dissolve these attachments. The realization that I am not the body nor the mind, but the eternal observer, marks a significant milestone on the path to self-realization. The second principle is understanding that the self is unborn, untouched by the cycles of birth and death. This profound realization frees one from the fear of impermanence and the grasp of cause and effect. In the absolute reality, nothing is ever truly created or destroyed. All existence is part of the eternal consciousness. Recognizing this liberates the individual from the illusions of time and change, allowing them to experience life with a sense of timeless presence. The third principle is the recognition of egolessness in all beings. By understanding that the ego is an illusion, one perceives the inherent divinity in every form of life. This realization fosters a deep reverence for all existence, breaking down barriers of separation and cultivating compassion. When the ego dissolves, love becomes boundless, untainted by personal desires or fears. This interconnectedness reveals the sacred unity of all life, drawing the seeker closer to self-realization. The fourth principle is the profound understanding of what self-realization truly means. This cannot be grasped through intellectual reasoning or external methods. Instead, it arises from stripping away all that is not the essence of the self. When the layers of identity, thought, and possession are peeled back, what remains is pure emptiness, a state of nirvana where the self merges with the infinite. This emptiness is not a void, but the fullness of existence itself, a realization of oneness with the universe. Living in alignment with these principles uh, transforms one's perception of life, 
problems cease to exist as entities to be solved and are instead seen as opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. The challenges of the physical realm no longer dominate one's experience as the individual begins to dwell in a state of serene detachment. This perspective does not negate action or responsibility, but infuses them with grace and wisdom, enabling one to navigate life's complexities with a calm, centered presence. Consider the interplay of the waking, dreaming, and visionary states. For most, these states appear distinct, governed by different rules and experiences. Yet, from the perspective of the self-realized, these states are merely variations of the same continuum of consciousness. Whether awake or dreaming, the observer remains unchanged, untouched by the fluctuations of experience. This awareness brings a profound sense of freedom as one no longer identifies with the content of the mind, but rests in the stillness of the eternal self. The journey of self-realization is not about attaining a specific goal, but about uncovering the truth that has always been present. By embracing the principles of detachment, egolessness, and inner awareness, one begins to see life as a harmonious flow rather than a series of struggles. In this state, the illusion of problems fades, replaced by a deep sense of peace and unity with the cosmos. When one understands their true nature as pure consciousness, the world transforms. What once seemed insurmountable becomes a dance of energies, and the self becomes the serene observer. This realization is not an escape from life, but an immersion into its deepest reality, where every moment is imbued with divine presence. As the journey unfolds, the seeker discovers that they are not separate from the universe, but an integral part of its infinite tapestry. The path to self-realization is a return to this understanding, a homecoming to the eternal self. Through reflection, meditation, and the cultivation of awareness, one steps into a world free from the illusion of problems, guided by the timeless truth that everything is as it should be. In this realization lies the essence of existence, a beautiful, unbroken dance of consciousness.